realize that you didn't get the best mom in the world. Who thought you should have happened five years earlier or five years later, who didn't know who your dad was? I even drove to have an abortion. But while driving there, I changed my mind. Who thought she had to spend her life welcoming other people's children, but not her own? Who never even took the time to tell you how much she loves you? Natalia, don't. What if it is? No. Whatever it is, we can handle it. Low platelet count, as well as infections that have been recurring, probably caused by prematurity. Mm -mm. Eh. Pneumonia, bronchitis. Why do you need this? To help Bakhmativa? Surprise Bakhmativa? To solve another logic problem? What if prematurity has nothing to do with it? What if it's some genetic disease and all of these things are just a consequence of it? Okay, stop. One more time. Decreased platelet counts, hemoglobin, red blood cell counts, combined B and T lymphocyte deficiency, and bleeding. Changes in serum immunoglobulin levels, low IgM, high IgA, very high IgE. The baby has no immunity. Mm. Okay, wait, hold on, I've seen this before. No, not here, just a moment. Here! Bogdan from Semi is the only child in Kazakhstan who suffers from wiscott eldro syndrome. In his 10 months, he was hospitalized four times. Proctitis, bronchitis, pneumonia, the doctors couldn't understand for a long time while the child was always sick, but then they diagnosed it. An extremely rare genetic disorder, meaning no immunity. I hope you're wrong about this. Your son has got Wiscott Eldridge syndrome. What's that? Andrei Pavlovich suggested that we send Mikhail's blood to an expert, to a specialized laboratory for testing. We recently just got back the results. I understand how distraught you are, because this case is not even one in a million. And it's mostly male babies who get the disease, although this gene is mainly transmitted through mothers. So, I gave Misha the disease? Not necessarily. Or it could have been caused by a mutation during the fertilization of the egg. It happens too. In any case, we will have to check you, all of your female relatives, and your mother, your sisters, all your children. No other kids, only him. What should we do? Basically, the best option is a bone marrow transplant. Without it, the patient has a high chance of dying from bleeding. Infections, neoplasms, but the good news is... Do you have any of those? After the transplant, Michael will still have a chance for a healthy, normal life. Very high chances. I'm happy to be the donor. If you're carrying the faulty gene, no, we can't risk it, but we'll check. We don't have a lot of time. What about him? He's not the biological father.
Oh my god. <laughs> Do you know my grandmother's gonna hate you because she's meant to be the culinary genius? <laughs> so, what are we having? This is parmesan and capers. Mm -hmm. We also have salmon with Philadelphia and pumpkin with mm -hmm. rosemary. Well, can I try one? I can make you coffee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Wow. Mm. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank mm. you. Mm. Please, God. I'm begging you, please. Can every Saturday morning from now on start like this, so that this divine woman in this kitchen can cook this divine food? Oh, please. Hmm? Please. Please. How did two praise doctors fail to recognize their own son's illness? Didn't recognize the bouquet of ailments. Do you understand the 90 to 100% compatibility that is required here? If I don't match, then what? Considering the state of the stem cell donor registry? What if we don't get one? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. They said you don't qualify. That was to be expected. Do you want me to call Kamal Grof? Your compatibility with your son is 90%. We can transfer Mikhail and prep him for surgery. There's one thing though. What is it? The thing is that the center has run out of quotas for free bone marrow transplantation. The last two have gone to brothers with the mysterious crab disease. So the price is 150,000 euros. I spent all my money studying in the U.S. If I scrape through my credit cards and sell my car, I can pull together 20,000. Crab? Crab? Is there another way to get this quota? Maybe call Molgarov. I can do that. He has connections. If there is a quota, Elizarov is an option. City Health Department. Yes, she once left someone to die on the floor and now will turn into Mother Teresa. Everything has a price. Okay, all right. I'll see you in the morning. Call me anytime. I found out recently myself. Komogorov was going to sue and did the test. I wanted to tell you, but first you left, and then everything was too good. Does it matter? After all, it was before you. I'm going home. What can I bring you? Twice, Rach.
твой мне, они как я. Когда ты рядом, я не могу дышать. It will be okay. And the German foundations, they sponsor such operations, don't they? Yes, of course. Maybe you want to be alone. Yeah. Then I'll sleep at my place tonight. Do you need a ride? I'll take a cab. Now I understand how Renoir felt, looking at the portrait of Jean Semery. You're so beautiful. Get your hands off of her. <clears throat> Igor Konstantinovich, let him go! Doesn't sex mean you call each other by your first names? You know, I thought I was the bad guy, and you're a saint. You're worse than Elizarova. At least she doesn't hide it. Nadia, bad relationships have to be snipped off in one go, like waxing strips. Where's your neighbor? In intensive care. You didn't know? No. Her husband beat her up on Friday. Pavel found her. Wait. Why didn't you tell me anything about Ira? Uh, sorry, it slipped my mind. We stopped labor miraculously. Okay, where is she? In intensive care. What are you doing? Which room is Ira in? Number one. What are you waiting for? For him to kill you both? Igor, hello, Sechenov here. Please can you come to the intensive care unit in the first ward when you have a minute? I've run out of words and arguments. Thank you. So everything is mixed up with the Oblomovs. The Vlonskys. No, come on. I understand swapping lovers, but a child? What do you mean swapping? Was Olga with Andrei Pavlovich? Yeah. They've been flirting for three years. Zen, why are you interested in all this soap opera? Call the doctor. Oh, I'm dying. Easy, easy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Serafima Petrova, 29 years old, pregnancy of 26 weeks, intercostal neuralgia, bloody discharge from the genital tract, pain in the right subcostal region, and vomiting bile. But other than the smear, symptoms of acute pancreatitis. Where's her chart? No chart. She hasn't seen a gynecologist in 10 weeks. I see another nut job. Hello there. We need to examine you. I need the best doctor in the hospital. Here's our best doctor, Alexei Nikolaevich. Well, actually, I'm an ordinary doctor, but if my competence isn't enough, I promise to get you the best. Now, let's do an ultrasound, okay? But you still won't tell me what's there. Why? I promise to tell you the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. How old were you when you lost your virginity? I beg your pardon? But you just swore to tell only the truth, didn't you? Uh-huh. Tell me. <laughs> I was 19. That's when I had my first kiss. What are you most afraid of? Afraid of? I don't know. Probably to love someone who won't love me back. Why did you decide to become a doctor? My drunken father ran over a gypsy kid with a trailer. If there had been anyone in the village but a drunken paramedic, I think he'd be alive. I've been honest with you, and now it's your turn. Why are you afraid of doctors? They wanted to kill my child. They sent me to get an abortion. The reason? They said it's an ectopic pregnancy. Does it look like it? What is it? What is it? Doctor, say something! The uterus is empty. Not allowed in. The doctor thinks that parents are parents and doctors are doctors. That's why we're here and he's all alone. Any infection for him now is dangerous. You'd do the same thing if you were the doctor. Mm-hmm. You've been here since Friday. When did you last eat? Hmm. Come on, eat up. There is porridge, eggs, and your favorite pies. Come on, while I tell you about our department. Bazette's Carmen is crying, starring the redhead Nadia. And you'll laugh at this instead of Sejanov. <laughs> Bagarov. You know, Natalia, we noticed painkillers started to disappear in packs. So it must be staff. As for Kolmogorov, not for me. I've taken a week off for now, and then probably I'll be without pay soon, so... Okay, hang in there, woman. We're here for you. Get your strength. It's not Edik's fault. He really wanted a child. And I have hormones, miscarriages, and now I've been sitting here for months. And he's a man, you know? He's strong, he's handsome. What can I possibly offer him? I'm 30-something. Sport, I quit, got fat, there's nothing to look at. Well, if you treat a woman like a piece of meat, which should weigh such and such, on the side of which, there should be a stamp with an expiration date, then sure, there's nothing to offer. There's always someone younger and prettier. But you know what, Ira? I think you've forgotten one simple thing. You are unique. 
And I don't mean that every person is unique in his own way. Your record has not been broken yet. You've done something that no one has ever managed to do. Think about it. Only you know how much it has cost you. What character? What kind of faith? You have to have in yourself. No, but without Edek, nothing would have been possible. Really? Aren't you the one who picked up the crystal woman and carried her a hundred meters in your arms? And if your husband doesn't see what kind of a person you are and is not able to appreciate it, then who's to blame? And who else will look at me? Hmm? You serious? Yes. Isn't it because of you that a farmer boy has become a knight right before our eyes? Maximich, come on, don't make me laugh. How could some pathetic quota be impossible for you to arrange? It's not for nothing. Of course. Do you want to do your thesis here in our center? Thanks, all right. I'm waiting for your call. Yeah, bye. May I? Oh, of course. Come in, please. Vincali, I feel sorry for you. But what can I say? We found a donor that's great. Just think about it. I realize, of course, that hyperfunction of the transplant and the risks of rejection complications are possible and all this is clear. Yes, but in order to worry about that, we need to do a transplant. Yes, of course. I mean, your men are not that poor. They'll collect 10 million, right? 12 and a half. Yes, we should probably look for a quota. Excuse me, may I? Yes, what is it? We have a six month old fetus developing in the liver alive. Heartbeat is distinct. So the rumors are true. You, Bakhmetiva, a child. And you? Do you really have as much influence as you say you do? Ruslan, listen. When people come with a request, they're not being rude. So you'll... help us with the quota? Maybe I'll help you. What is the price? Dinner. Flowers. I love English roses. And one night. So that I don't sleep until the morning. Like the other night. But that doesn't mean anything to you, does it? You can see the choroidal plates have grown into the liver and partially into the intestine and stomach. Paraortic area not changed. The common bile duct is not dilated. Well, apparently the liver became a rich source of nutrients. Well, it's just beyond reality that her body didn't reject this fetus early on. Why wasn't she sent for an abortion? She was. They sent her and she ran away. And then she never set foot in the midwife center. Now she literally came crawling. And they didn't explain the dangers of this? The fetus can tear up her insides. Let's say she didn't know about the liver and just preferred not to believe in the ectopic pregnancy. In fact, her husband had cancer and, uh... Before chemotherapy, he froze his sperm. After his death, she made three attempts at IVF to no avail. And finally it worked. She did it here? No. It was the last of the biomaterial as well. Amazing. The fetus has to be removed. Because it's at the limit of its size, the liver won't hold it any longer. Then we need to decide what to do with the placenta. I don't know. Has anyone in the world ever faced this before? At least, I mean, you know, without a lethal outcome? Actually, we found 14 cases. In four of them, they managed to save both mother and child. In Russia, we haven't seen a case like this in decades. And who'll do the operation? You're not available. I won't dare do it. 
And not Bazanov. He's not ready yet. I'll give it a try. Where was the last known case? The last one was in South Africa, in the Red Cross Hospital. Please instruct Michael to find a surgeon quickly. Okay. Natalia? I've, uh... I've managed to save up some money. It was fees for the new book, and, but I... But I really don't need them. Thanks, Lash. Keep that in mind, okay? Sincerely, thank you. Natalia, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. I really hope that the situation with your son will be resolved favorably. Thank you, Bagarov. I realize this might not be the best time for this, but I must inform you that one of your subordinates is taking stimulant drugs. It's my duty to let you know. If you're talking about missing medication, I ask you not to jump to any conclusions. I saw his dilated pupils, and he's been aggressive to me with no reason. And you're sure it was for no reason? Natalia, I understand that this is your favorite student. I also sympathize with him because of his father's illness, but we're in charge of people's lives here. That's why. I heard you. I hope you did. The best doctor for you, as promised. How are you feeling? The pain is better. What happens to me now? Serafima, you and I are really in a difficult situation here. So let's be honest here. Um, the likelihood of maternal mortality in cases like this are very high. It's up to 20%. You can die from massive blood loss, from damage and rupture to internal organs, or peritonitis. Your baby may be born viable, yes, but we cannot predict whether his lungs will open up or whether there will be uh, other pathologies that we were not able to detect in time. Thank you for your honesty. Where do you want me to sign? Pasha, did they not tell you I was looking for you? I thought that you didn't care about me. Did you take the drugs from the safe? If you lie to me now, we will never work together again, Pasha. Now you're going to go to Misha, take the list of medications, and cover the shortage. You won't take any more. I know what a painful thing a rotator cuff injury can be. I know what it's like to have your father diagnosed with a death sentence and he doesn't tell you. And I know what it's like when love goes away too. And I also know that after all of this, you get up, bite your lip, until it bleeds, walk on, only to have something else happen to you one day. Do we have a deal? Yeah. We would make an official inquiry, but we don't have time. Let me be clear about something. This is a life and death matter. I thought your organization was about people, not about paper. I need anything. His mobile, Skype, fiber, messenger on Mars maybe? Please! Yes, Dr. Jeremy Clegg. 
Mhm. Mm ja. Thanks. Well? <sighs> He's in a hospital in some remote village. Tropical downpour, no communication. I'll tell Buck Matiba. Wait, hey bro. How are you? Yeah, I'm good too, listen. Remember when we talked about those guys from Africa? I need someone who can, in three hours, get down to KwaZulu-Natal with access to internet. No, not a favor. A plea. Have you talked to specialists? Yes, and the gastroenterologists. They'll stand by. I've ordered blood substitutes and cells way. Did you find the South African? No, but... No buts, Natalia. No ifs, no buts. I understand you're a goddess of surgery, but I remember you well as a trembling student. To take this kind of surgery when it's not an ordinary operation, I'm sorry, but... But you'll be assisting me. So there's nothing to worry about. I help babies to be born. But I know nothing about them. Believe that? You and I have a weird thing going on. How many times have I seen you? Sixth time? I've already felt so many things. Listen, you hang in there. I don't know if you and I will be able to chat like this when you're older. But I sure hope so. sound machine. We opened her up, and surprise, so as you can understand, we had to react very, very fast. Uh, Dr. Clegg, let me introduce you to Dr. Bakhmatiba. Nice to meet you, colleagues. Nice to meet you. You're just in time. I was just about to tell you how we found a window into the liver and pulled the baby out. What did you do with the placenta? Oh, we left it there because of the possible added bleeding. We were afraid the damage would stop the liver. We thought that the body would melt it sooner or later anyway. How's the baby? A lovely girl, about six pounds. They call it sheer luck, but I would call it a miracle. Sorry guys, if you don't have any more questions, I have to go. Thank you. I wish you good luck. Thank you. Gather everyone. Let's get the OR ready. Alexander Anatolovich, we have an emergency meeting. Seraphim is on the operating table. Can you hear me? Did you know that, uh, Wellington is the furthest capital city from us? Asya. I took her phone to uh, copy out the grocery list, you know? 
God forbid I forget something. She's meticulous. You know, as a nurse. And there's a picture of a man with no clothes. I thought it was a joke. I may have overreacted, and then she just went totally ballistic. Timothy. 36 years old. Timothy. He has a house overlooking the ocean, and what can you give us with Dashka? You know, I am almost retired, so what can I do, really? We're moving to Wellington. Timothy. <laughs> That's it. Listen, let me call Antonov. No, 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 He'll no, cover no, for no, you. no. Truth is, work helps distract me, and I have nothing left but work now. You know what I mean? <laughs> Timothy! Natalia, you haven't given me an answer yet. I don't know what else I should say and do to make you realize that I will never, ever be with you again. Okay, now the hardest part. We're going to start separating the placenta. Theodore, we can't do it without you. We'll remove a portion of the liver. Yuri, help me here. Not bad for 37 weeks. I'm taken to ICU. Damn it, where's the blood spraying from? I punctured Clamp a hepatic now. vein. Rosalind, I need you to take my place. Doctor, coming out. Stitches. Sorry I didn't tell you. I couldn't believe it myself. I've been thinking about you for two years and forgot who I am, what I am, and what I want. Quite by accident. A part of me that I didn't even know about suddenly... burst out. Hey, that's cool. Nice revenge for Elizarova. Tell me how long. Will she survive? Yeah. She's strong. She knows how to cling to life. And thank you for Misha's diagnosis. It's not me, it's Michael. No, it's you. Genia. What are you like with Komogrov? He hates me. Quota? I'll try.
We won. Well done. I'm very surprised you're still working. Is it because of Bazanov? I want to adopt Mishka. So that there's final clarity on this matter. And I don't need his money. What about his bone marrow? Want to suck up to your boss? I know how many of these quotas you can get, without even trying. Who says that I can't? I can. And how are you going to pay? What are you doing? It's all right, it's all right. Don't start making a scene now, okay? <laughs> I know how you wanted to get into my group. Let me go! Ah, we're we going to play rape now, okay. You're my father! Natalia. Oh, Natalia. Natalia, we'll save him. I swear to you, we will save him. I've been all over the city to all my father's friends. We will get the quota. Even if we don't get the quota, I'll sell the apartment for Christ's sake. And Nico will help. Stop. Come on. Look at me. Just, just. Hi, Nadia. You were just running away ready to fight. Why are you here? I decided to work. Ah. Now that's good. Why waste yourself on all kinds of wrong people? Work is so patient, merciful, covers all, believes everything. Without work, I am no one, right? right it was originally so about love. You don't say. Now. Hello, can I get some help here? <laughs> Calm down, what is it? What happened? Hello. <laughs> Hello, what's the problem? <laughs> 33 weeks bleeding. <laughs> Nadia, get the doctors and set everything up quickly. This is very similar to the COVID flu. I've seen this. You can't perform surgery. 
Nadia, as far as I know, you are not a surgeon and not Donsob's deputy. And I need them and the <laughs> OR, Nadia, so run quickly. <laughs> Yes. Are you on the floor? Look for Bakhmetieva. She's not answering. Maybe she's with her son. Komagorov? Yeah, he's here. Anyway, I'll find someone. Natalia, they're in the waiting room. 